Hello everyone, I'm Chromaray, and I've got a surprise today. So I finally bought a new game to do a video on instead of doing an older game. Not that those aren't fun, but this is called Man of Medan. Man of Medan. Man of Until Dawn, because they made the, the same people made this game as Until Dawn. Play alone, because I don't have anyone to play with. And Until Dawn was amazing. And I pretty much killed everyone on accident, so I'm hoping this will be my retribution to make everyone live. Man of Until Dawn. I love the ship. Not just the ship, the sky, everything's slightly blue. Blue and like. Oh, it's the military. Ew, I can see a little too much on that guy's face for my liking. My he, my ha, my ha. I'm pretty sure that's not the song. Oh, I think I see someone in the behind that curtain. Oh, this bodes well. Creepy music, an altar, caskets. Looks like someone's gonna get resurrected. Ooh. Eastern. Looks like we're in another country. Alrighty, Buster. Obviously. We better mosey on back to the ship. Better get back to the ship, Buster. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to it. He's gonna try to. flirting with the creepy doll salesman. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. I've covered wars, you know. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. I'm not sure a quarter would work, but what do I know? Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You Ask the tiles. Curious, tell me about my son. Will I be rich? Too young to care about my children. So, uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, Pops? all that glitz and glamour. A dragon? And green stuff? <laughs> bamboo. Well, bamboo sounds more like money. But dragons represent strength and value, uh, maybe? I'll go with the dragon. Look at the tile. Tell me what you see. Pick up said tile. It's gonna be scold cross. Oh, it's a fish. Looks like a fish? Doesn't look like money to me. Wee! Can I put it down now? <laughs> Your fortune may come from any direction. Like a mysterious wind. But when a wind like this may blow, death and doom are sure to follow. Well, well that's just great. That's exactly what I came here to know. Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? What the hell? Traits. Reckless. Altruistic. So these are good traits, and those are bad ones? No, these, these are all bad traits. Oh, maybe this is just a angsty person. <laughs> hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? And to let off some steam from being on a ship for so long. Fight? Sure. Can, Can I do better than this guy? Start a tab. Of course. I'll give it a whirl. Watch and learn. Oh, those are some nice movements. <laughs> Tutorial moment. Well that, well, that was... That was... Nothing. Okay, it's still going on. She just changed up the difficulty setting. 
and she know I'm she knows I'm good. Oh, that was an A. That's A. Who is your daddy? I don't think I can fight, huh? Punch. D. Ah, punch. I, I, I clicked it, but oh well. Have a nice day. Well, that's self-demeaning. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just, just let took me ask all another question. We really need to get back. Good, I let off all that steam. Insecure, reckless. Yeah, I can tell he's insecure now. <laughs> Stream of bad luck. Armand 2! Cargo hold 2! Love the graphics. I can see every drop and gland of sweat coming off of these people's faces. Might be seeing a little more than I bargained for. Well, that seems about right. Pairing a coffin with the crossbones into a boat. That doesn't sound bad at all. I'm sure nothing's gonna cop out of these. Science works. Oh. Ooh. Oh, now it's gonna infect these coffins too somehow. I don't. I'm not sure how this works. Oh, where am I? The last thing I remember was a fist near my face, and then. Nothing. Oh, is he having PTSD flashbacks? That's one wide view. Just an average Joe in sick bay. I saw a photo. Hey, it's my kid. Or I'm really awkward and I carry a picture of me around and nope, to Papa. Come back soon. Well, I'd love to come back soon, but I don't think I'm coming back anytime soon. Open the lock. Uh, what the hell? You just keep a body in your locker. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Touch the evidence. Now they can trace everything back to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, just keep the random key you found on the dead guy. 
We need to go get some help. There's a dead body in here and I don't know what to do. And I'm locked in my room for some reason. Hello? Help me! Oh. Is that water? Yeah, it's probably just water on the ground. That's not blood. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Yeah, I me found too. a body in my. And there was room. a. a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of oh, here. That's a sick bay. Yeah, I think we should probably skedaddle out. in time with the heartbeat. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can dig it. Oh, maybe I should have let him know I'm here. They don't want him to not think I'm here. What was that? There seems to be little children on the boat. Well, that's glowing over there, but I want to see where that kid went first. That's the best decision. He locked the door. Are these kids what came out of the coffins? Haunted children. Evil orphanage. Hey, Attacking Charlie. the army. Help. Strike check. <laughs> oh, more dead bodies. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Bar and you said it. It's only a dead body. <laughs> Hello? Either they're still extremely drunk, or they took they suffered some damage in that little tussle they had. God damn! Another stiff. Who's the lucky winner? <laughs> Oh, damn it, Buckley. Oh, it's like rigor Last mortis time I saw set him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Oh, he's dead? Last time I saw him, he was healthy. He should have done more cardio. <laughs> they are not freaking out the way you'd expect. <laughs> they should probably run to grab weapons and comrades. Walk faster. Finally. Oh, secret hallway. Secret door. Oh, okay, I went down this hallway for no nothing at all. So that's okay. Uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? There are bodies and like blood everywhere. No, no strange feeling at all. Like a mess on wheels, <laughs> Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah, fine. Agree. Yeah. Hey, children. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? You don't see the bodies, but you see the child. Charlie, get over here. Boom. That is 
is not okay. Finally, we got a weapon and a knife. Smartest decision they've made all day. Obviously, the children aren't evil, but is it okay to shoot them? If I have to. Ah, oh, the dark, dank room. Come here. Come here, little kid. I'm not gonna bite, but you might. Okay, the little kids are definitely killing everyone. Oh God, no, Charlie! But when did he die? Did he die off screen? <laughs> Shoot the locker, just don't, but don't not shoot the locker. I mean, don't get close to the locker. What did you expect? It's only a flesh wound, right in the heart. On a is good start there? already. Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! I'm stuck using come this on, damn man. ancient technology. What the hell is that? That's gonna work. No. No. Pretty sure this isn't a demon. <laughs> oh yes, the hand twister. Well, at least somebody made it out and jumped in the boat. Same song as the first game. Won't you spare me over till another year? What is going on in the background? Someone's head head banging a little too hard. Seems a little bit too happy about this. Hey, it's Silent Hill Nurse. Well, what is this that I can't see? Maybe he's the great ancestor of the psychiatrist from the first game.
Hello. Hello there. And welcome to my repository. Why, thank you. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, of greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. Oh, yeah, and we have to I live with those decisions decision. or die by them. But, but you shouldn't die. fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. Yeah, it at is this the tax point, one pays for having lived, and it comes eventually to everybody. Still, none Even of us want you. for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. Yeah, like the I'll choice I'll be keeping I made a close to, eye on your longer. progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. Totems. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Okay, so there's say, probably a painting that on that ship that could outcomes have at. you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. Uh, we'll have good the talk. opportunity to account I learned so for much. the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Oh yes, you've been so helpful. Just telling me what I've done wrong. <laughs> This has been episode one of Man of Medan. Maiden. Mom. So, hopefully I don't make any more mistakes in the next episode, but I'm sure I probably will. I just don't want to make it like until dawn where half the cast dies. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.